How are we doing? You're live. We're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome. We are here live, Ergon Expo, and we're going to be going through, um, well, we're going to be talking about how we're going to be doing this this week. So uh, if you caught Ergon Expo last time around, um, we streamed like a ton of stuff. And today, oh, look at that. We're live. Check it out. Um, yeah, uh, that's beautiful. You're getting a little too excited about I, I seeing look, yourself. Look, <laughs> that would be me every day, right? <laughs> you should see, as an aside, you should see, uh, I, I get I get a smile when I watch my own videos. And I'm telling you, it's not like I like looking at myself. I just enjoy the sport. And so I like watch videos. And I'll be smiling. I'm looking at it. And Sue will go, you're watching one of your videos again. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, because I really just love the sport. And I guess this show is an extension of that love for the sport, right? Yep. I mean, I fell in love with air guns years and years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, I realized early on, Angie, that I could not afford the sport the way I wanted to be in the sport unless I made it a job <laughs> because air guns can get pricey. <clears throat> and so How long I, ago? Oh, I think I started, my daughter wasn't born yet, so it must have been like 2000, end of 2005, 2006. Wow. Oh. I think it was end of 2005. No, I don't know. We had moved to Cottageville. Hey, that's where I live. I know, that's where you live. We had moved to Cottageville and let's see, we moved to Cottageville and I realized that I couldn't shoot because I was inside city, li city limits. So I couldn't shoot. I wanted to shoot just 22s in my backyard because two acres, put a backstop up. And I, I met Paul Hayes, the police chief. Um, not because in, you tried it first? Not in a negative way. Oh. I, I saw his cruiser parked and I went over and said, hey, boss. Uh, he said, no, you can't. I said, well, that stinks. I moved out to the country and can't shoot. But then I found air guns and I could shoot those. And that's what got me really started. And I, and I wound up doing a website, airgunweb.com, uh, which this should be streaming live. Let me just check that to make sure all of those connections are working. When I finally got to... Uh, shoot some air guns, I realized I really love the sport. Uh, I love the fact that I could shoot my backyard. Well, I had a big backyard. But I love that the fact that I could do that. And it was quiet. It didn't bother the neighbors. Um, I enjoy, just enjoyed shooting, and I could do it pretty much any time I wanted. So that turned into where we are today. I mean, we've got Air Gun Web. We've got Gateway to Air Guns. You're doing the grip stuff. Yep. And uh, that's new for you this year, hasn't it? It's been, been a new thing. It has, and I'm, I really like it. It's, you like it? Yep, I do. I right. Do. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What's the, what do you think? If you're looking at, like, the grip review stuff, what's, the, what's, what's some of the stuff you've had to learn? Because it's different than the stuff you were doing before. Well, I really have to learn a lot more, like, a wide variety of products and how they operate and... Um, I don't know. Maybe more technical. Maybe yes. More, more technical knowledge. Yes. Yeah. And then I get like I get into the review and I get all these little questions. I wonder if and I wonder if and I wonder if and it leads me to so much more testing, <laughs> which can make the videos so very long. <laughs> okay. So today, uh, what we got going on is uh, weather changed. So we had had a bunch of stuff lined up. We were going to go from here out to the range and shoot some live stuff. We've got up to 40 mile an hour winds. The banging noise you hear is actually our exhaust vent slapping around <laughs> over there. And so we're not going to try and put a round peg in a square hole. Um, so real quick, let's just talk about what we're going to be doing this week uh, with, uh, with Air Good Expo. Um, we have, first of all, if we need to push to Saturday, we've already talked about it, we can have a makeup day Saturday. So if we don't get it all done this week, what we have planned, we're just going to have a bonus day. No big deal, cool. right? Um, weather looks really good uh, Tuesday through the rest of the week. Thursday might be a little windy, and we do have a special guest coming in Thursday, two special guests coming in Thursday. So um, hopefully that all works out. We've got FT Air Guns from Dallas will be here. We're bringing an FX. We're going to be shooting that on the range as a live thing. I'm probably going to let Angie roll with that, so that'll be kind of fun for her. Um, and then we'll have... Uh, Hawk will be here in that, that, that afternoon. So John from Hawk, who's got a bunch of new stuff. We're going to be shooting a lot of Hawk products. Uh, they sent us um, their new Frontier 34, um, which you, like, first focal plane, you love them, right? No. 
<laughs> Not at all. But that scope, you actually said you could see it. Yes, I, that one I love, but the rest of them, no, not really. Yeah, so first focal plane hasn't been Angie's, Angie's thing, but that scope, super clear. It's like a 30 power, it's like 5 to 30 or something like that. It's Yeah, my problem with it is nice. when it's all the way out, I can't see the yeah, reticle at it's all. Too, it's too small. Yeah, so, but this one I could, so. Yeah, it's, it's very, really nice scope. So we're going to be running that on a lot of guns. A lot of the pre-roll stuff that you guys are going to be seeing We'll have the we'll have a lot of hawk optics. We also have ATN. Um, we are shuffling the schedule around. It's very fluid. So guys, um, make sure you check the schedule. It's going to be right on our homepage, which is theairgunexpo.com. Check that out. It should be. Um, you should be able to. Yeah. So we have the tentative schedule, and it's as I said, it's fluid. So things should be shuffling. Most of the pre-roll stuff should stay pretty static, um, but the live stuff can make it moved around based on well weather conditions and whatever so we have some extra slots so we can wedge things in so we'll be okay but definitely check that because if you want to watch the live stuff and um, participate come online and chat with us you can do that right over the website now i want to talk a little bit about why we're doing it this way and not on facebook like last year you stole the question out my brain okay what was the question in your brain exactly that okay why, why are we doing it this way and not like we did last year Okay, so last year we started out streaming YouTube, and they got their knickers in a twist over us touching an air gun on a live stream, yep. um, to the point where they just shut us down in the middle of a stream, and they don't, I mean, you're not supposed to touch a firearm on YouTube, which we weren't, but they don't know the distinction, um, and there's no way to overcome that. It's just, unfortunately, that's the way it is. Facebook is being also particularly... Uh, that's the right word, prickly. Um, and there's some, I post some stuff up there on the Facebook page. I didn't want us to be in the middle of the, sh of the event and just Facebook shut our page down and have nothing set up. So rather than leverage these uh, sort of free, uh, arbitrarily uh, rule application sites, um, I contracted with Vimeo, which is a paid service I've talked with them in the past with their support department about what we do and they have no problem even with our hunting videos they have no problem with us doing this um, because um, we're not selling guns we're not selling firearms uh, we are talking about places people can go and investigate air guns and then purchase directly from them if they want but we're not trying we don't, we don't sell you anything um, and we're doing everything safe on a range and stuff so that we meet all of their criteria for doing what we're doing and we're not going to get our stuff taken down. Um, so rather than try and stream to Facebook or these other things that could get us, you know, just we're at their whim, um, I didn't want that anymore. So we're going to be streaming on Vimeo. You can go to our Vimeo channel, which is vimeo.com slash airgunweb. And wow, that wind is really kicking up. <laughs> like really kicking up. It's a good inside day. <laughs> good inside day, yeah. We would not be shooting... Uh, shooting out anything uh, much outside is it maybe the the cat dragon we do have that in that yeah. should that should buck the wind okay anyway so we'll be doing all of our broadcast on vimeo you can watch it right on our website so you don't have to go find the link where is it on facebook where is it on youtube none of that stuff it's always going to be right on our website you can or the the Ergon expo but so just so you guys know we will have a fluid schedule this week um, primarily the lives will be fluid and we may shuffle some of the other stuff around, but just keep an eye on the on the schedule. Um, if you have questions, just reach out. You know. I have a question. Go ahead. I'm reaching out. All right. <laughs> so she, she promised she wasn't going to be a smart butt, and here she is. I told him I would try not to be dumb either. You, uh, he said that yeah. was the more important yeah. part. That is true. I did give you the <laughs> option. Go ahead. So, what is the purpose for Airgun Expo, like all together? Well, okay, so. It started with the, um, in 2021, last year, there was no SHOT Show. Right. So I saw this, well, actually it was me and Travis. The, the, the whole thing started, I was already thinking about doing something. Travis, who owned GTA at the time, uh, called me and said, we need to do something. And I said, I agree. And this was the idea. We'll do Aragon Expo. Um, it was a joint venture between myself and my companies and Travis and the GTA. And we did our we did our show last year. It was a lot of fun. Arrogance of Arizona was here. 
We had a bunch of, I mean, they were here for the whole week and they had a, their van here. It was really, really cool. We, it, was a, it was just a really nice, fun event. And I was gonna, uh, if you go to SHOT Show, the air guns are like 1% of 1% of a percent. Right. It's like, air guns are like so tiny, they're lost to the shuffle. And with the, with the way things are going, um, I don't know how these like in-person shows I don't know how they're going to do. I mean, it's you still have COVID to deal with. You still have, I mean, before COVID, I mean, it was almost like a given. You go to a shot show, you got you need two weeks after because whatever, you're going to get some, some sort of shot show crud that you're going to need two weeks to recover from. It was horrible. Um, I know people that hated going strictly because, look, you shake 5,000 hands in a week or a weekend. Right. You guess what's going to happen? <laughs> you're going to get sick. Um, and with COVID, it was it was even more so. So, um, I don't know. I really didn't know how the I didn't know how those shows were. I don't know how valuable they were going to be for me. My focus is air guns, not all the firearm stuff. I shoot firearms. You even got a video of me out shooting my Mini Thirty. Um, I showed her some of my firearms, and that Mini Thirty is probably my, one of my favorites. It's just I got to get you set up on that so you can shoot it. Anyway, that's maybe another day. Well, this also gives um, smaller companies opportunity. Well, that was that was the next point. Thank you. Um, now I get to pick your yeah, brain. Yeah, you get to pick my brain. <laughs> um, so when you go to Shot Show, you see guys like Gamo, Umarex, all of these places with the big guys, and they're here too, right? So we have Umarex, Gamo, Barra is a new a new one for us. New England Air Guns a new one. Cap Arms is new. FT Air Guns is new. I don't know if you can switch to the this camera, hun. So I'm pointing out the logos. We have multiple cameras. Um, so like I said, we got we got the big guys. We got Umrex and Gamo. Those are the big big contributors. Now it's raining. Pyramid Air. Um, we've got Pyramid Air, but we have new folks like Barra Air Guns, New England Air Guns, Cap Arms, Air Gun Capital, Dynamic Air Rifles, um, Clear Ballistics. And we have a lot of folks that are here that are new for this year. And they're folks that are now Cap Arms, they went to SHOT Show one year, but they probably blew, I mean, they were at range, I think it's, I don't know, it's thousands upon, tens of thousands of dollars to have a booth at range days from, from what I understand. So, you know, for a small company, that's very, very tough. Yeah. But here they can come, have their stuff well represented by people who really love the sport. Okay. Uh, we're going to switch back to the other camera, hun. You can have you have people who can represent their stuff who really love the sport, or now I mean they can come out here and bring their stuff themselves. Like FT Air Guns, he'll actually be here because he's based out of Dallas, so he'll be here Thursday and, and we'll be able to meet with him. Um, Air Gun Pro Shop, um, which is a business I used to own, I sold that. So Tyler and Heidi, um, Tyler is coming going to be here. He comes in tomorrow, so he'll be here Tuesday, thir Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you guys will get to meet and uh, get to spend some time with Tyler. Um, but these are all folks that absolutely love the sport. So it's a concentrated presentation of just air gun stuff. I like that personally. Um, and we're going to be doing it like, you know, it's like one whole week concentrated of live in our pre-recorded videos, just air gun stuff. So to me, I think that's really, really cool. Well, it's not just air guns. Like, um, is it Airgun Capital that does the little moderators? They do. Um, I actually got some of their stuff right here. Uh, we're going to do a whole segment with them um, with their on their products. And we're going to, I mean, I'm going to work it out. Um, potentially, we might be able to do it at, like out on the range, Angie. Um, rather than in here, it might be better if the weather's co cooperating. But these are like, these are all 3D printed bits and pieces, I guess for different air guns and they don't all have to have threaded muzzles. They actually create stuff that allow you to attach, like this goes to like a daisy and the, one of these goes to, I don't know. We'll pull up their website when we actually do the video and I'll have Sue kind of show you their website and we'll go through the parts. But they have different things like this is an adapter that I think slides on like a 2240 or something like that. Or one of these things, or this may slide on to a, oh, that may go on to a, um, a QB chief. I got to go through all this. It's one of the things I got to do today. It's got to go through all these parts. But they make all these 3D printed and they're super affordable, like 15, 20 bucks. You know, so you can take an inexpensive gun, get a nice inexpensive moderator, and now you have something fun, fun to play with in the backyard. This converts your 2240. You know, remember putting the steel breech on the yep. 2240? Yep. 
Well, this goes right over the existing 2240. You don't have to switch the breech out. Sweet. So, but that's the kind of stuff. This this company would would be, would be really hard for them to go to shot show and have something represented. Yeah. Um, but they can do it here, and we can hopefully show their products in a in a positive light. And people can see what they look like, see how they work, and then they can go check them out um, at their website. So that's really the point. Um, we're gonna kind of wrap up now. Do you have any other questions, Angie? I mean. We're just kind of winging it here this morning. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm excited. This is going to be awesome. It's been fun so far. I mean, we spent last week, I came in on Tuesday, yep. and spent last week sighting guns in, prepping them for the lives, and we shot a lot of pre-recorded videos. We did. We shot like 15 videos, and I've got more I've got. I've still got one more I need to shoot if the gun comes in. If not, then uh, I'll, I'll figure out something to do. Wait on a specific Umarex gun to come in. It hasn't come in yet. If it doesn't come in, we'll we'll do something else. I mean, we've got lots of Umarex product here. We'll, we'll be all right. <laughs> it's been a lot of work, but um, there was air guns involved, so yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, we did a lot of shoot. I think my favorite was the night shoot. Yes. yes. So definitely check the schedule. I think it's going to be on, let's see. Hey, we got some pe people chatting with us. Are you chatting back? Yes. Cool. Steady. Hey, um, all right, so thank you for coming online and watching and hanging out with us. Um, it looks like the ATN night shoot's gonna be five, you guys can see that at five o'clock tomorrow. Um, I watched that last night and I chuckled. I really did, that was a really fun video. I enjoyed watching that. It, it, let's just put it this way. Angie and I have another competition and yet again, I come out um, Shh, short don't end of the tell stage. Don't tell <laughs> Uh, you guys are going to love it. Rick loses again. It's like the theme <laughs> when I shoot a competition with Angie. Oh, well. Well, he did teach me, so. Well, yeah. I mean, I already shot guns, but he I've learned a lot from Rick, so. <laughs> I guess that just says you're a good teacher, Rick. I'll take it. I'll take whatever <laughs> I can get at this point in that capacity. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it, unless we've got some questions, but wanted um, wanted to just thank you guys for joining us this week. If you have any questions, you know, reach out. Um, we will be posting links to, like when we go live, we'll, we will be uh, publishing those on uh, Facebook so you guys can jump on over. Um, we're not gonna stream live to Facebook. And if we can get the simulcast working, cause that's a little bit of a, a hitch in the giddy up right now with the software. We'll, we, yeah, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> but it's got a hog on it. And that's an inside joke. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and simulcast to Facebook as well. But uh, if that doesn't work out, we've got this and this is at least secure. And when we're all said, when we're all said and done, we'll have these videos will be edited and published and you guys can watch them. They'll be in a playlist. You can watch them in order. And I was, you know, last night I was previewing the videos that sh my sister's been editing, all the ones we shot. And I, I was like really enjoying just uh, doing work, listening to the videos, watch the videos. And I, I, I got a kick out of I got a kick out of it, so I hope you guys will enjoy it as well. That's because he likes watching himself. What's that? Yeah, and, and this is my wife saying the, the schedule will be fluid. So please, if you have questions or you want to catch the next live, just check our schedule. And it'll be live right on our website. You don't have to go hunt it. Just be on the ergonexpo.com, and it should be there. I'm going to see if I can figure out why we're not streaming properly on the other pages, which is kind of in the bummer. But um, yeah, hopefully I have a question. that'll sort out. Yes. You said the schedule will be fluid, but the times will be the same. The videos might just change, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. yes, the times, we're going to have something every hour, essentially. If there's something scheduled that day for the hour, we're going to have it scheduled. Today's going to be a light day, primarily because the weather has just turned on us. Um, it is 30 mile an hour winds and spit and rain. So Maybe it'll turn again. Be nice. I mean, tomorrow looks gorgeous. So, and we have some open slots, so we may convert some of the pre-recorded open slots into some live shots tomorrow. So, anyway, we, we keep an eye on the schedule because it it, it is going to be fluid. It is going to change. We are going to be making the absolute most of the sunny, calm days. We have probably some of the best weather, save today, um, that we've had in a long time. Last week was gorgeous. That water tastes really good in that cup. <laughs> yeah, you like the new cups? That they're very GTA nice. cups. Yes. These are these are a special special edition um, uh, collector's items. Yep. 
collector's yeah. item. Taste the water. It's, it tastes better in the cups. Mm. <laughs> 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 that's cheesy. That, I mean, it's degrading okay. quickly. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be it. Definitely reach out. You have questions, comments, uh, feedback, if we can do something. If there's something, you, we have some open slots. So maybe what I should say, if there's something you guys want to see, um, let us know. And if we've got it, maybe we can work it into a, a, little, a little extra bonus footage. I have some stuff in mind that may air after the show. We'll do some filming. But uh, anyway, really quick, once again, I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Please check them out. Most of these guys, anything we're doing some live stuff with, they're going to have a profile. Uh, we call it a virtual booth. It's like if you went to a show, they have a booth. We have a page form set up on the website. The cool thing about those pages is that they have their contact form at the bottom. So if you want to reach out to New England Air Guns about what they sell, you want to reach out to ATN, you want to reach out to Hawk, you want to reach out to Air Arms, you want to reach out to these guys directly. How hard is that sometimes to like oh. connect directly with somebody? We actually have a form. You send that form. It goes directly to a specific person in their company that handles that stuff. It's a great way for you to have that direct connection. So check out those pages. And when you do the little note, please let them know that, hey, um, you learned about how to reach out to them or their company or their products, whatever, here at Aragon Expo. That's going to help us out a lot. So, guys, that's going to be it for now. We're going to go see if we can figure out uh, the schedule for the rest of the day because it's flat wooly out there. Yep, yeah, it is. windy and wooly. So we're going to call it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, Angie, anything? Nope, that's it. All right, see you guys. See ya.